And we're back with Miles Edgeworth, Jackson Kenji 2. Electric and Pogadu. If he's back, I'm back. Mm -hmm. George is back. I am back. I am also here. Front. No, 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 Bob, you're front. I'm we're driving. Back front. I'm driving. These guys are freeloaders in my I'm car. Trying. I'm all about to go over the hill. Yep, I'm about to drive you all into a lake. See ya, boys. Yeah, but you're about to go come to the lake with us. You better be insured. <laughs> Giffy. President's orders. The security plans were changed on the president's orders. Assassination attempt, changing security plans. In other words, the president knew about the balloon being shot. He knew about the attempt on his own life. You think about it that way, everything that's been out of place is beginning to add up. And I tell you what, it does not equal two. <coughs> Why is he assassinated? Fish. Oh, come past such tight security. Why is the assassin wearing a conspicuous red hood? Because he's Why did he use a laser sight so that it would be <laughs> easier to the location? Why was the president so calm after being shot? I get off on that stuff! <laughs> this was the truth the president and his abhorrence tried to conceal. There can only be one reason why Knightley fired the gun. The entire ass was a setup. <laughs> the entire ass. Eh? Yeah? Huh? What? <laughs> How dare you? You surely understand what you're implying with this. Of course I understand. In fact, now I understand everything. Mr. President, you wish to take the investigation rights from me. That was all so you could conceal the real truth. How dare you mock me with Jesus. Spurious. Spurious? Yeah, Spurious. Allegations. If he's learning new words today. What does Spurious mean? I don't like words. words. Mama uh, Duke! I'm also like on the spur of the moment, so it's like, you know, it's like, oh, all of a sudden. Yeah, okay. I presume that. I'm about to switch up now. It's lame. Oh, damn it, Robbie, move that way, so I can't. It's Spurious. It's S P U R I O U S. Thank you. Spurious. Not being to what it refers to, false or fake. Oh, okay. False allegations. False allegations, yeah. What's the name? Mock you? That was my intention. <laughs> I think you need to uncover the truth. That is all. Likely fired the first shot in order to rush the balloon. Hearing the gunshot and the sound of the balloon bursting, the audience began to panic, and your face began to smile. Because you know what that meant. This was followed by one more shot. Wait, one more shot? Yes, Knightley no. turned towards the balloon and pulled the trigger a second time. The second gunshot was also fired by Knightley. To create the illusion of the second shot hitting the present. So what about the bullet that hit the president's bulletproof vest? What did that bulletproof vest <laughs> think about the thumbs? <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. President? <laughs> Afraid of facing a little bullet? Uh, that, that's not true. I was definitely shot. Oh, let me see if I was shot. If you examine the bullet in your vest, it would answer the question for us. We will find Brooks blood map bullets. But, but the person in the red hood who shot me is in that photo. Yes. Why would you miss things, Mr. President? Do you have no. ears? They have really big ears. No. You be using them. From the bullet no. trajectory, the one who fired the shot must have been nicely. Then, Nicole... She too was part of the President's plan. She was to bear the blame and become the false assassin. The red-hooded figure! Exactly. I don't know much of the plan Miss knew beforehand. However, she didn't fire the gun. 
All she was aimed on laser pointer at the president's head. Uh, that's rare! Uh -huh. Once the crowd began to panic, you would turn your parker inside out. And thus the red hooded figure vanished. After that, you discarded the gun and security plan in the trash. And the illusion of the assassin vanishing like a ghost was complete. With the assassination gun, the case would go unsolved, pal. Yes, that was what he hoped for. That's why he wouldn't let Mr. Edgeworth investigate the case. Exactly. All of this was an accidental publicity stunt from a lying president. And he really loves ants. <laughs> yeah, see what he said. Do you remember what I said earlier about how you don't want to be compared to Rick <laughs> Wait, so. Damn it. <laughs> the bullet couldn't get past <laughs> the bulletproof uh, vest, but it couldn't get past his bulletproof abs. <laughs> he revealed his true form. And Ross, I see this is your true form. <laughs> Sorry. This fascination is a lie, isn't it? Chief, I really have to pick you. Yes. Does not have Herbert. Dang it. Just stay. Damn it. Stay in place. <laughs> well played, Mr. Prosecutor. Well played. Now I'm going to have to go pick You're up some, some Botox for the prison. <laughs> Go we'll touch some maple section. Nightly. Help me, man. Where's the cheap? I am speaking with the president now, thank you very much. Six shots. You're a chess player. You've known knights always strive to protect their king. Do you reckon he was unloading the pistol because you're starting to get irritated? No, you clearly want to play Russian roulette. Because he didn't reload it, he unloaded it. I don't know if I've lost the version of, gun, of Russian roulette. He puts one bullet in three guns and he fights four strings six times. Shut up. Shut up. Now. Are you threatening me, Mr. Nicely? Ah, what's with this guy? I'm sorry, I went over the top there. You pointed a gun at him and told him to shut the- What? Went over the top doesn't even begin to describe the number of crimes you've committed by doing that. We're on to business. As my first move, I want to ask you a question. You say I fired a gun on the stage, right? And I should have been caught. The entire audience was watching me. I see, now it's my move. You use a certain object to prevent the spectators from seeing you. What? A certain object? You know the object, Rob. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know, it's obvious in the picture. It's the uh, Tashi, <laughs> bulletproof Tashi case. The Tashi case. Dang it. Wait, there's something like someone knocked on the door. Exactly. I'd like you to have a look at this photo of Kay took. Your right hand is completely hidden by this case. This photo captured the exact moment you've secretly fired the gun. You use the Atashi case as a screen. Well, he actually has a cry out for his objection. Yeah, did you notice? I don't know if now. You should enjoy making up convenient stories, Mr. Prosecutor. It's a weird call-out as well. It's completely different to the voice I gave him. I'll have to adjust. It's fine, you're not, you're not the one playing him. Yeah, I know. And there's a Rob just kidnaps me so I can't voice act him. <laughs> it's mine now. It's mine. <laughs> okay, you yeah. missed something. I bet Kippy's voice is actually closer to it than mine. What the fuck? <laughs> What have I missed? Your head? The door! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Everything you've said is just a hypothesis. A theory. Uh, a yay, gun theory. theory. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, Ocelot. Legs flapping in the wind, using a case as a screen. 
Security plans were modified because I can't move my neck. You've got no decisive evidence. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great if you had a bullet. Yeah, it'd be great if you had the bullet that hit the balloon, but you would exact you could examine it and see the ballistics marking matched my gun. This dude is writing himself out. <laughs> that bullet's probably at the bottom of the lake, finding it would be a real tough move right now, huh? Hey god, uh, I'm on the board! You're seriously <laughs> underestimating the power of gumshoe. <laughs> gumshoe. gumshoe has lungs of steel. <laughs> Have you bought your scuba gear? Uh, no, but I bought my gun. Go find the bullet, Gumshoe. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just donks. <laughs> he jumped the river. I found it, sir. Like what? <laughs> that's a boy. I have to admit it. But that's what he says. There's no decisive evidence. There's no proof. The only thing you can do is shut up. Do so. Now. Swift. That, um. That's it. It's your speech. We can hear your testimony. Hey, lady. Got something to say? Uh, oh, Captain, uh, uh, <laughs> Never mind. There we go. I thought so. This fucking guy's a dick. Yeah, you're what are you now. talking? You're talking shit? Huh? Nick you my voice in my head? Well, there's, there's... He was relatively insensitive earlier, is the best way I could... Is the nicest way I could describe it. No, no, he's just, this guy's just an asshole. You didn't know he was a dick. He's been a dick this entire time. Oh, it's Nicole! Wake the fuck up! Don't be afraid. <laughs> His horse hair is not that intimidating. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. <laughs> the truth will escape if you let him... If you let that man intimidate you with his horse hair. His gun is not loaded! <laughs> You're a reporter and you had that gun from earlier. Fire it! <laughs> Are you a journalist, aren't you not? Didn't they cop us get that gun? Because she dumped the gun. Well, here's the gun. Shoot him now! And currently, yeah, Nicel has returned all the all the, yeah, all the evidence. Yeah, we're trap. Just throw it at So it actually, face. we've got the gun! <laughs> no, 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 Rob, she has a bear trap. Throw it at his face. <laughs> ah! I, I will not remain silent. You better consider your position. Use your head before saying anything you'll regret. You fire that fucking gun, oh, Knightley, and you get arrested by Gumshoe. <laughs> There's literally Gumshoe, no way out of Gumshoe. this. Gumshoe, Gumshoe, proceed to perform the bear hug. I forgot uh... the number one rule of journalism. Journalists fucking must not Gumshoe. tell lies. <laughs> What? Was she was she taught was she taught journalism by fucking Dolores Umbridge? <laughs> fucking Harry Potter character. Harry Potter. Oh. You can't call it a scoop if it ain't the truth, Mister Edgeworth. I'm sorry. I've been hiding this the whole time. What is that? What is this? Is... It's a laser pointer. It's a lightsaber. I Jedi. used this laser pointer to aim at the president. That's all I did. <laughs> I never fired the gun. You stupid woman. You testify you'll be admitting you're an accomplice. Ah, I don't give a shit. I'ma tell him everything. I'ma do it. Three days ago, I was covering an event for the Jingfa Embassy. And then some of the president's... Oh, what? What? Who said everything? Tell us about the day you were born. <laughs> All right. Well, I was born in. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. I seem to have stopped caring. <laughs> then some of the president's men called me over. They said if I cooperated, I'd get an exclusive interview with the president. And the gun in the trash. I really don't know. All I was told was to come wearing a red hood and to aim a laser pointer. I never thought it would snowball into all of this. I'm really, truly sorry. Nicole, thank you. That was a testimony worthy of the courtroom. Better than anything that Monster Hart has ever done. This is, is it sufficient testimony to verify the fake assassination plot. Damn you. The lot of you. All a bunch of mindless. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, no. <laughs> it's a shame. If only we'd be able to start the investigation as planned. If he tried to cement himself in Knightley's character and he's like, God fucking damn it, dude, chill. <laughs> <laughs> You would have been able to silence this young lady. I don't see the face, John. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that was not calculated properly. The yes. risk I took was calculated, but damn it, I'm bad at math. No. <laughs> you shot, you shot, no, you shot. I can't believe you shot some hat, some of his hair off. Well, to be fair, like you can see the trajectory of my bullet because it ran across his face. <laughs> I was just like, "Whoa, that was close." <laughs> it was not all according to cake. <laughs> so tomorrow's headlines now read: Fake assassination plan exposed becomes a murder. Right? I can't believe that you do something this horrible, pal. I can. <laughs> Come on, come. She knows I admit nothing. Objection. Oh, it's Mr. Fat Man. The President. The King of Waffles himself. Is he, is he fat or is he just like. He's fat. Very chilly. He's fat. Literally, he's fat. his entire he's muscle fat. thing was literally just him flexing, which is why he was flexing in the background. He was, he was, holding, his, he was holding in his breath to make it look like he had muscles. Right, wait. That's enough. I have no choice but to admit it. I did it. So, Mr. President, you admit that you planned plan a fake assassination? God, just, just stay and play! Dang it! Yes, I admit it. I'm sorry. I but why? Me. Why did you have to do this? My approval ratings in Jeng Far have fallen. I wanted to appeal to them. Strong as a strong person to survive the assassination. All right, just just give me some tape. One sec. Just... He's basically like a yeah. fucking lion. Oh wait, my name is just a lie. Stupid, stupid lie. What's in there now, Lawrence? He's having a hack set piece for earlier. Whoopsies. That's fine. Just go nuts. What did he do? And the bullet in the bulletproof vest. Man's dropped an f bomb. Oh, I'm done to like five minutes ago. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just like, it's. I'm pretty sure it's. It's over. Too late. Prepared earlier it was not fired today. Stop dropping the F bomb. Hmm. So stop, stop dropping the F bomb, man. It's a fire. Don't say that. Oh wait, I dropped it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but what about Mr. The Killer? Wait. Oh god, we can't say that Gumshoe, his career is safe. <laughs> <laughs> Seems our plan was leaked. Thanks, spoilers. Data miners tapping my plans and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Data miners <laughs> fucking ruined Huang's plan. <laughs> Someone wanted to make the, this fake assassination real. That's why the killer wore a red raincoat. He would impersonate the culprit from the plan in order to approach the president. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that? Why did Rook die? I'm still trying to work that one out. <laughs> this death was not part of the charade and it. It really freaking happened. Yes, why was his life taken? He was an outstanding bodyguard. Even though he wasn't from my country, he had the utmost trust. Where was he from, then? Looks so freaking sad. Being all mightily just like... Uh... Oh. oh, just just fucking get a room, why don't you? I wouldn't think that having the trust of a coward in the president meant that much, honestly. Because at this point, there's no, there's no point on back. I'm gonna let it all out. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same sort of bond between me and Mr. Edgeworth, pal. I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> that was a weird voice you used, George. If my life was reliant on yours, I'm pretty sure I'd have, I'd have died. I should have shot myself. <laughs> if Rook knows your plan... Not the exact details. 
I asked him to cooperate me with you. You should have listened to his advice. It's true. Yes, indeed, I would. I wouldn't have done all this if I had known. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Being too dramatic. All right, come, what? come, come wow. to this. What? His colleague is dead, and he's just like, bruh, it's not that serious. Dude, <laughs> chill. It's, a, it's just a prank, bro. Work was just one piece of the president's defense. It's just a prank, bro. Lately, that's. It's not as is that, and it's not as if he cooperated with your plan. I did. Love me, Huang. Budget. Love me, Daddy. <laughs> He ran away, taking whatever thing he had left for him. Good riddance. No, you're a valuable bodyguard, but still. Why did you kill him? I don't have time for this, sir. I'm the team leader now. I'm in charge of this bitch. Not him. There's gonna be a lot of changes now that the chicken's gone. There's gonna be a lot of changes around here. <laughs> no, Bacock? They're all the adaptation is the most important principle in chess. First step, we make chickens extinct in Zheng Fa. We will only eat beef. You always wanted to be the team leader. <laughs> but isn't this a bit imprudent? Imprudent? Impro what? <laughs> That's right. I will orchestrate even more perfect plans, just like this one. It's hey, not a perfect plan. I would not call this one I perfect. I literally <laughs> was solved by Gumshoe Edruff and a child. You definitely have ambition. But it wasn't your perfect plan today, I thank you. Details. If it weren't for you and the idiot Rook, it would have been perfect. And that dog. I don't have a dog. Brock? Where? <laughs> oh, right. I think you call him Gumshoe. <laughs> yeah, die. The killer won't have died me. Yeah, just don't die, Rook. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Fucking people dying. You would have never set foot in the plane. Doesn't anyone know that dying is optional? <laughs> Imagine unironically dying. <laughs> Nightly. <laughs> okay, you see. So <laughs> The audacity of this bitch. <laughs> yeah, he died trying to save you, Mr. President. Maybe he fulfilled his lifelong ambition. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's likely, dude. He died protecting the president. Huh? But the assassination was fake, right? Go to listen. We need to listen closer, little girl. Remember the guy who wanted to make the fake assassination real? There was two gunshots at the time of the incident. First, was as he said, I shot the balloon, like an idiot. But, the second one, that wasn't me. So who fired the second shot? I'm Solo. Real assassin. But it wasn't the killer. So he admits he to attack the president with a knife. That's a north, this is a north. Not a gun. The killer specifically does not use guns in his assassinations, which is really weird. I think it's because guns are noisy. They're also messy. That's it. Lucky winner was the hidden cream. Lucky. <laughs> should I say the lady in the coat over there? Stop pointing your gun at me. My bear trap. You're accusing the co <laughs> oh, I, I ain't no guy. assassin. I ain't no ass. Really? I ain't no I ass. I don't believe you. I see the ass. Gun. It's a fine ass. The gun that was left in the trash? That was yours, right? You killed him. They can just you examine it for fingerprints, and they know that hers isn't on it. She only has fingerless gloves on her. And she hasn't left the scene since. She has no way to play it. It's also a Zeng Farm model. How would she get a hold of it? Yeah. Shut up. Shot the balloon and entered the plane with Rook and the President. 
Rook waited in the cabin while I had Laura led the president to the security room. When I came out, bang, it was dead. From the brain. Alien. But the lady fired must have hit him while we escorted the president to the plane. So we escorted the president into the plane, watched you go in, proceeded to wait outside, and then just died. What? Yeah, that's right. Shit was fired from the gun you found in the trash. Well, the trash gun. Gun's can, trash. We can, examine, we can examine the, the you know, the bloody ballistic markers too, that's true. Yeah, Assassin's Revolver. Two shots have been fired. Mm. So you say you don't know exactly where the victim was shot? A nice job isn't to protect the rook. But if it can protect the rook, it should, so go fuck yourself. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Shut up, inanimate voice in my head. I'll shoot you toes, I swear to God. That's terrible. I turn on the yeah, like every way. other piece in chest. What the fuck is your point, Knightley? <laughs> huh? What he's trying to say is that his job was to protect the present only. Fucking bitch. It's over if you lose the king. Checkmate, that's the first rule of chess. I don't think anyone would... Okay, no, I'm Jim. I thought the first rule of chess was don't chase sin. Shall we let's leave? The first rule of chess is the moment you're losing, just flip the table. Oh, this is not a dragon, it's a drake. <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. You shut your damn trap. <laughs> For context, uh, I asked George, I was a dragon on the bridge of uh, Dark Souls. He said that wasn't. Something attacked me, and I was like, wait, isn't that a dragon? It's like, no, it's a drake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a waver. <laughs> Son of a there's an actual difference in Dark Souls. <laughs> there actually, there actually isn't in most contexts, but go on. If you let your pieces get taken right in front of you, I'm not likely to win. But I did win. Look, President is safe. And where's the enemy king, king dipshit? <laughs> Fuck's sake. No, sorry, sorry. And then uh, Ed, no, Edward just pulls out a gun and shoots the king. Shoots the president. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you just failed. The president is safe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't gain victory when the game has only just begun. We've it already drawn won. our opening hand of five cards in this Yu-Gi-Oh duel. That's chess. I can't believe playing Yu-Gi-Oh chess. Sorry, sorry. They, they don't know what they don't know what move about to hit them. Rook waited in the cabin while I let the. I don't know what the. Uh, let me read the lines. Go back to reading. Let me read the lines. Um. Back one. I want to read the lines, please. Okay. I shot the balloon shot the balloon and entered the plane with the Rook plane and the President. The that makes sense. The Rook waited in the cabin while I led the President into the security room. Yeah. Oh, I think I know what the... I know what the... I know when what the I came contradiction out, is. Rook was already on the ground. The bullet that Lady fired must have hit him while we escorted the President to the plane. The shot was fired from the gun you found in the trash. Alright, we can... we can actually... I want to take markings, it can't we? Oh, yeah, here we go. The problem is not the fact that the gun was fired. It number of shots. Yeah. It's the number of shots. So you shot the balloon and Miss Swift shot Rook. Is that really true? <clears throat> I can't see it any other way. Yeah, but you can't turn away, so get fucked. <laughs> yeah, you can't be right. <laughs> Why is not in this game? The gun we discovered in the trash was fired twice. <laughs> Fuck off. What's wrong? I could just imagine, like, Wright would have this case solved already because Knightley can't fucking see him. Knightley <laughs> 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 Phoenix <laughs> Wright must be fucking John Cena. <laughs> he has even my time, isn't he? Uh, oh, I think I already told you to take that and tap Tappen now. I need to get those cards. Alright. You take your red line, yeah? Yes. Okay. The number of gun does not add up. I can't with that face! You don't need to do, Rob. What? 
You need, screen, you need to screenshot this. <laughs> Why? And use it later. Oh, I was already on it. Screenshot it. Yeah. Oh, go on, George, do it. <laughs> It's a screenshot. We need to make some memes later. Well, that's that's just the that's just the picture. I get the, the full thing. You get the full thing too. We might need both. Yeah, so. Why does he just morph into a Looney Tunes character when he shoots himself on the fucking bridge of his fucking skull? When well, you realize you done goofed. Burp. <laughs> 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 so, have you got the, have have you got the other one? There. <laughs> there you have there. Okay. That's right, good. Why don't the gunshots add up? It's simple. The gun is fake evidence left behind with the, the real criminal. Fake evidence? Think about it. The criminal plotted this for a reason. By finding the gun, we, we assumed that we'd find the assassin in the audience. I said that wrong, completely wrong, but okay. You... In order to make us believe that the gun was used by a assassin... You said effectively the same thing, so it's fine. The gun needs to appear as if it had been fired twice. I get it, because two shots were fired during the incident. Now, we proved that the bullet that hit the balloon did not come from this gun. Therefore, I have my doubts to this gun also took Ron's Brooks life. I'm about to say it took Ron's life. Ron Weasley. I, I can't be wrong with Reese, he got his wife taken by... by... I, I, was just, um... I guess it was just another cam casualty of that, uh, that that first movie mod where everyone is... all the ones are replaced with guns. It's like how also, it was also like having shot Crash Bandicoot in that one session. <laughs> oh no, it's not the Bandicoot! Not the Bandicoot! <laughs> Nightly. Well, I'll just wait for you guys for me to change it. <laughs> Here it comes! Packing some serious- That sounds so heat. wrong. But no, packing heat has always been used to refer to guns. Fair enough. It still sounds wrong. I mean, it's because of- How you Gun firing right. is an explosion of heat. Yeah, true. <laughs> Enough with the song and dance. you come this far. Go ahead, say it. Whip it out! I won't just say it. I'm not gonna say it in general, actually. Screw you. I'm leaving. <laughs> Forget this case. I'll prove it. The one who really shot Rook is... Horace Nick. Horace Knight. was Rook himself. Horace Knight. Horace Knight, let you murder Rook. How dare you? Eh. You finally said it. Knightley, you couldn't tell. The killer wasn't the only one who took advantage of the fake assassination plot. You intended to look Rook and claimed that he was a victim of the assassination. Once Mendon entered the security room and the plane door to the plane was closed, only the victim and Knightley would have been left in the room. And at that moment, you fired a third bullet directly at Look Rook. Look at him. Copy that right. Objection. Third yeah. bullet. Yeah, I found that killer now. What the fuck was that? Objection. <laughs> oh, I read the wrong one. Yeah, no, no. Ha! Only two gunshots were heard. Numbers don't match up. I know how to count. This plane wall was soundproof. If the door was closed, the gunshot would not have been heard outside. But wasn't the president in the next room? That's true. President may have heard the gunshot. Mr. President, did you hear a gunshot? I... No. I didn't. I mean, you're shit. <laughs> but weren't you watching this room for the security cameras? Too busy shitting himself. Cameras in this room aren't usually turned on. Turned off... Turned on the power after I entered the security room. So you didn't turn on the power immediately after emptying the room? No, actually, I... I... Time for me. I don't remember. What is it? He's not being clear. Mr. President, focus! This is vital! I... I... I was... It is... I... Please! Please! I was hiding under the bed! Covering my ears! 
pussy. What? But you knew the assassination was fake. Doesn't matter. Somebody hate the sound of guns. <laughs> Knowing little things. I don't know what the Harry. A terrifying sound. Can't help it. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth? What? Why do I smell the sound of piss? <laughs> I'm joking. Smell the sound of piss? <laughs> oh, why do I, I smell the, the sound of piss? <laughs> I'm sorry, do you work? In Jing Fa, they can hear colors, so. <laughs> we can smell sounds! Hear colors, he can smell sounds! On a car, what kind of drugs are you on? <laughs> well, that definitely ain't going in my heart! <laughs> 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 no, Nicole, no. Uh, I smell the sound of piss. Smell the sound. Even the really characters are all done with my fucking ass. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, you know, it's, it's my time to put quotes in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. see you guys next time on Miles Edgeworth, Gekt, and Kenji 2. <laughs> <laughs> see you around. <laughs> And uh, this time, next time, we'll smell the sound of poop. Yeah, smell the sound of piss. <laughs>